Developing news tonight, a severe geomagnetic storm has hit Earth, actually the strongest in nearly 20 years, and it comes with a warning that communications and the power grid could take hits this weekend. It could also make the northern lights visible in California. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is joining us live to help explain this weather phenomenon. Lauren? Well, Chauncey and Susie, you know, this is actually pretty cool if you think about it. You know, just like we get storms right here on Earth, well, space gets them too. But this is going to impact us possibly with our technology, especially when it comes to things like our communication, including GPS right on our phones and satellites too. It's a massive solar storm that's hitting Earth, the most powerful one in 19 years. Scientists rated a G5, and that's on a scale of one to five. We call that extreme. That's how rare that activity type is. And we've hit that level at least once already with this storm as it began. Solar storms begin as giant explosions on the surface of the sun, which sends streams of energized particles toward Earth. When they hit our magnetic field, we get a solar storm. We are progress throughout a solar cycle that's roughly every 11 years and there's a peak during that 11 year stretch of activity. We are at that peak right now. With all that radiation from the solar storm, there is a slight chance communication, power and GPS systems worldwide could take brief hits. All of those different industries, the power industry, the communications industry, the uh, the GPS industry, uh, the satellite industry, they're all paying attention and working on the back end so that you know, 99% of the time, none of us are going to be aware of anything that's happening. But the storm is expected to put on a dazzling show across the northern hemisphere. It's called the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. These are images of past events from UK and Europe. As for the US, this storm also has the chance to create a stunning light show as far south as Alabama and Northern California which is very rare. It's not a guarantee. Of course, the guarantee is right there along the Canadian U.S. border. It encompasses all of Canada, Alaska. Those are the areas that will see the brightest, boldest lights from the Aurora. Now, the storm is expected to last all weekend, but those lights are really expected to peak tomorrow night. So if you're up for a little adventure, there's still some time. Your best bet is to hop on a plane to somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, or if you really want to go for it, you can go to the Midwest in places like Minnesota and Wisconsin. Reporting live in Studio City, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. Lauren, thanks.